Welcome back my YouTube family. So let's make banana cake as we have harvested a huge bunch of banana a couple of days ago. Since it's ripening very fast, I thought might as well make some banana cake. Make good use of it. Today's thing is 100% Australian produce. Every ingredients you see, we do as much as we can to support local produce. Here I have 400 grams of plain flour, 3 teaspoon of baking powder, half a teaspoon of salt, 150 grams of sugar, 2 tablespoons of smooth peanut butter, quarter cup of plain milk, 5 large egg, and 170 grams of softened butter, unsalted butter. And for the part 2, to create some caramel uh, toppings for the banana, I have here 200 grams of dark brown sugar, 150 grams of uh, softened unsalted butter, and I'm going to use one teaspoon of vanilla paste. And I've already got banana here. I've already peeled and cut into half lengthwise. And you can see they're already starting to oxidize, but that's fine. Okay, and grease lightly the baking tray as well. Preheat your oven to 180 degrees Celsius, 20 minutes before baking. Oven Fan force oven, 160 to 70, based on your oven, you have to check that. And it should be ready between 25 to 30 minutes. So let's begin. I prefer to group them so it's easier to work. Peanut butter, normal butter and the sugar, I will beat until it fluffs. Egg by itself, I'll beat until it's fluff. And salt, baking powder, you incorporate with the flour and then you sieve them okay and the milk you can add as you go so that's how i break it up Let's prepare the caramel for the banana. So here, I've already got the brown sugar in there and I'm going to toss in all that and then I'm going to take it over to the stove on a medium heat until everything is caramel. Turn it off as soon as it starts bubbling. You don't want to burn the sugar. Okay, it's a nice caramel. Line the bananas face down, flat side face down. As you can see the batter is a bit thick, it should be a bit runny, so now I can add a bit of more milk. Because you don't want to add everything earlier liquids and then you can't correct the cake. Okay, so I'm going to put in first half a cup of milk. You don't want it to be too runny.
as you can see that's the right consistency I want so the whole amount of milk I've added is one cup and one tablespoon of milk so we're going to pour it over the cake oh sorry over the caramel maybe scoop it up and spread it evenly so it doesn't clump all on the side give a gentle clap like as you can see the cake is done so I'm going to flip it outside. I'm going to use this board so put it on top like that and then flip it over and if you can find one mitten so I don't have the other one okay with the vanilla paste I did add towards the end in the caramel but you actually can add it in the batter as well so look into the description so I've explained it clearly let's flip it Let's remove the tray. It's really hot. Be careful. That's the cake. It's beautiful, right? Even if you don't like the bananas, you can use peach. Um, lots of stone fruit can go on it. Sometimes I use peach. Sometimes I've tried mango. It did work perfectly. This time, because we had lots of bananas, so I thought I might as well eat the bananas. I enjoy it. Banana cake is ready and it's really delicious. If you like this content, please don't. Get to hit the subscribe button thank you for watching